Let's start with data races. In this code, we have a shared variable x, which is of type integer, and it is initialized with value 0. We have two runnables. The first runnable is trying to set the value of x to 3. The second runnable is trying to set the value of x to 7. We are using these two runnables to start two new threads simultaneously. If your program is running on a CPU which is of multi cores, that means more than one threads can run on the CPU simultaneously. So if thread 1 and thread 2 run simultaneously and they try to execute these instructions of setting the value of x simultaneously, then there is a possibility of memory corruption for the value of x. And this situation where multiple threads are trying to update the same variable or the same memory area is called a data race. Of course, the next obvious question is what happens to the value of x. Fortunately, Java language specification, which is the specification that all JVMs have to implement, it mandates that any writes to the variables of type integer should be atomic. So in this example, JVM will mandate that only one thread is able to set the value of x at a time. So if thread 2 is setting the value first, x will be set to 7 and then thread 1 will be allowed to execute and that time the value of x is 3. So because of JLS, we do not have memory corruptions when two threads are trying to update the value of x simultaneously. The same cannot be said if x is a long or a double. So longs and doubles in Java are of 64 bits and Java language specification does not mandate atomic writes of long or double. So theoretically, these 64 bits can be considered as two different variables, each of size 32 bits. And this concept is also called word tearing. So it is possible that one thread updates the first 32 bits of that memory and the other thread sets the next 32 bits. And in this case, we can have the memory corruption where the value of x can be a weird combination of first 32 bits of a number and last 32 bits of another number. And this problem also happens when only one thread is writing. So let's take the same example as before, where the long is divided into two 32 bits. Thread 1 is only writing to x, while thread 2 is reading the value of x. Even in this case, it is possible that thread 1 has only updated 32 bits and during that instant, thread 2 tries to read the value of x. Thread 2 gets the first 32 bits of the updated value and the last 32 bits of the old value. So thread 2 is reading a corrupt value of x instead of reading a stale value or the latest value. So data race is a condition that happens when there are multiple threads accessing a shared variable at the same time and at least one of those threads are writing to that variable. And this happens without any synchronization or coordination between threads. Race conditions can occur in two situations. The first situation is called check and update. Let's say we are writing a program for a library. We want to keep track of all the books and the corresponding users to whom we have loaned out those books. For that, we are creating a hash map where key is the book ID and the value is the user ID. Now let's say there are two separate threads both are trying to give out the same book to different users. Before giving out the book, we want to ensure that this book is not present in the hash map. That is, this book is not yet loaned out to anyone. Let's say both threads are running concurrently. And in this case, the thread one first executes two instructions, which is it checks for book one if it's present. And if it's not, it will set it in the map. So now the book is loaned out to user 3. And now the second thread comes in and it checks if the loan books has a book 1. And actually thread 1 has already set it. So thread 2 will not be able to loan it out to user 7 and program runs correctly as expected. But thread ordering or thread scheduling in Java is never guaranteed. So it is possible that thread 1 is able to run only the if statement first followed by thread 2 which is running its own if statement. So if the ordering of instructions are like this, it is possible that both the threads will check if the loan book contains the key. Both of them will say yes, there is no book 1 in the loan books 
and both of them will proceed to give out the book to their corresponding users and because of this the correctness of our program is broken and this scenario where your output of a certain computation depends on the relative ordering of the threads this condition is called a race condition and it's called a race condition because the threads are racing to perform a few instructions and the value of the output will depend on which thread runs first compared to which other thread and there is another way of looking at it multiple instructions that are supposed to be executed together or atomically are actually not run together they are interleaved with similar instructions from other thread so we want to ensure that these sets of instructions for a single thread are always run together atomically and we can easily do that using a lock so if we are using a single shared lock and all the instructions are run within that lock jvm will guarantee that only one thread is able to acquire the lock at a time so let's say first thread 1 acquires the lock it will execute all the instructions within the lock then it will release it and only then thread 2 will acquire the same lock and it will also execute its instructions atomically so in our library code we could just have a shared lock of type reentrant lock and before doing our check and update which are two instructions we want to do atomically we can just wrap those two instructions in locking and unlocking one important point to note is even if we replace the hash map with concurrent hash map we could still face the same race condition so in this code the map is of type concurrent hash map and we still have two separate instructions of checking if the book exists and then setting the value of book 1 so even in this case these two threads could have these instructions interleaved and it can lead to race condition so the only way to ensure that these two instructions are happening atomically is to either use locks or use the compound operations which are exposed via different methods such as put if absent or compute if absent so in a concurrent hash map using this method will ensure that both checking and setting the value of the particular key happens as a single atomic instruction now the second situation where race condition occurs is called read and update so in this innocent looking code we have a shared variable called count of type integer and we are initializing it with value of 0 we have two threads both of them are trying to increment the value of count by using count plus plus count plus plus is actually three separate instructions it first reads the existing value of count it increments it by 1 and then it writes the updated value of count and because this count plus plus are three separate instructions again we could have the same problem if two threads try to do this simultaneously so in this case both threads are reading the value of count which is initialized to 0 both of them will update it and set it to 1 which is not what we want because these three instructions we want them to be done atomically again the answer to this is just have a lock for the count plus plus which will ensure that all three instructions are done atomically so thread 1 will update the count from 0 to 1 and when thread 2 acquires the lock the count has already been incremented to 1 and thread 2 will increment it further to 2 another way to fix this without locks is to use atomic variables so in this case our count is of type atomic integer and both threads can use count dot increment and get which ensures the read update and write all three instructions are done atomically so data race is when multiple threads access a shared variable without any synchronization and at least one of them is writing to that variable and race condition is when multiple threads access this variable but the value of it will be different based on the execution order of the threads and data race is practically not an issue in java in most of the cases while it is very common for race conditions to occur in multi threaded applications and that's mainly because jvm gives some guarantees to avoid the data races but race conditions it's up to the developers to ensure that race conditions do not occur that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one bye